What's up, my beautiful masterpieces? It's Ricky Monet, or Key Monet, and I'm back with another video. Yeah, I know you tired of fucking with them lame niggas. I just wanna teach you, put you on game. But if you don't let you rock my chain, I ain't trying to change women, and I let them where you smile. That's a real game. If you're not with it, get with it don't get lost because you ain't going nowhere <laughs> but no this video i am going to be doing a cooking vlog not really a vlog but just showing you a few things on how i cook and my meals because i post my food all the time on my instagram and my friends definitely be like oh your food look good bro do cooking videos teach us how to cook and not like i do not disclaimer i do not think i'm the best cook in the world but i do think i do have a crafty hand and i learned from the best my mom y'all do y'all like this tan i got like i'm tan i'm now i'm already brown but y'all seen that beach vlog and baby is tan like <laughs> oh i thought somebody that wasn't tan said something like look at golden i was mad at first because baby has sunburn but let me tell you how i got rid of it and it worked oh it's right here right here my lip y'all using this scrub i use it a lot but i use this exfoliating scrub with this soap this dove soap after i um after i washed my body with the other soap i have and after I exfoliate it with these two, I use this on top of it. Bro, my skin stopped peeling. It really did. It really did. And so I'm taking it in a bag so I can give it to my mama because she got sunburn too. Um, I might put pictures. I might not because it looks gross and I was livid. Like, I was mad that I had sunburn. But anyways, um... I am making dinner and I will record how I make certain stuff. I'm making spinach, um, candy yams, um, fried fish, and macaroni and cheese. So, and I'm using a box macaroni and cheese. I'm not making baked macaroni and cheese. I do know how to do that, but that'll probably be another video for another time because I'm not really trying to stay in the kitchen too long because I had a long day. It's already, it's eight o'clock. It don't look like because it's nice outside or, you know, whatever. But it's definitely 8 p.m. So, yeah, I might get copyrighted because I definitely had this radio playing the whole time I was trying to record. But it is what it's going to be. So, yeah, I guess I'm going to just hit y'all back up when we are in the house or when I start cooking. And I'll just show y'all what I got. Hey, y'all, I'm back. Um, I am in the house. I'm not at my house, so this kitchen is kind of foreign but we about to get into this cooking and i'm about to show you what i got before we start so i got fish and this spinach why is it so close and this spinach macaroni and cheese potatoes as i'm making yams marshmallows because i want i like marshmallows on top of my yams and then all of this fish in here because he eats all of this so We'll eat that and then i'll make this which is the same thing the brown sugar is for my hands and i'm missing a few more ingredients but this is what i'm making for dinner tonight and y'all will see the finished product I 
been fucking with them lame niggas. I just wanna teach you, put you on game. With a seal let you rock my chain, I ain't tryna change women. And I let them where you smile, that's a real game. When I'm for you, I'ma change, I can't say the same nigga. When I'm with the gang, you be tryna hang with the Check on these potatoes. Because it's yam time, baby. Mm -hmm. I just wanna teach you, put you on game With a seal, let you rock my chain I ain't tryna change women And I let them where you smile That's a real game When I'm for you, I'ma change I can't say the same, nigga When I'm with the gang You be tryna hang with a seal Just get a ticket of wrist So I let you bang with a seal You know just how it is You fucking with a gang, man Get your sugar I'm using diamond sugar Diamond sugar A Get with it, don't get lost because you will get left behind. Um, yeah, and you pour, I pour my sugar on here, a generous amount because that's what makes it like syrup and stuff is the sugar. So, a generous, not too much, and then I take my brown sugar. Blue, brown sugar, and put the brown sugar on top of there. Brown sugar is different, so you gotta be careful with this. Uh, all right, so I'm not gonna get these clumps on here. What you do with that is you just pick them up and just break them, just crumble it. Don't let it sit in there because then you will have blocks of sugar in your food and that is not good. Nobody wants to bite into a fork full of sugar. Like, you know. I'm gonna take my cinnamon, which I should have put on before that, but it's whatever. Because when I put the butter on it, it's all gonna melt down. So, I'm gonna just put some cinnamon on here. Don't put too much because you don't want your food to taste like, ugh. But yeah, I shake generously and it's all gonna cook down. And I'm gonna like, shake, um, whatever. Anyway, over your butter. Okay. Just place it in there. Like this, y'all. Yeah. Maybe a close and personal for y'all to see this. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna use two sticks. I think I'm gonna just use just one. So. Yeah. Sugar and the butter makes it caramelize and it makes it sweet and good. Makes it be like yum yum yum. <laughs> Alright, so now I got this like this. You wanna wrap this up and pour you. And you wanna put it in the oven. You gotta set the oven to 350. I hope y'all did that already because I definitely could have done it and I didn't do it myself too. It's 11 p.m. Dennis still not done. But we're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost done. I'm tired. All right, Joe, we back in the kitchen. Um, yeah. uh, bro, I'm about to get hurt because the oven is not even on. So now I need to turn the dance. I'm not even going to curse. I'm not going to curse. Let's we'll cut this off. We're going to cut off the video. I'm going to put this fridge first. Yeah. Uh, but this is done. So we're going to slide this to the back. We're going to dump this out. Cause we ain't got in the oven now. Uh, 
I might as well wash this one over here. I'm gonna put that in the back since I'm cooking now. Put this in the front. This is for my macaroni and cheese. I'm gonna start this because the, the yam's not gonna take that long, not to me. Um, I definitely have the water running. But the yin is not going to take that long. So, we're going to go ahead and start the macaroni. Turn this off. I need to close this cabinet. I don't know why I still got it open. I got shades on in the house. <laughs> yeah, my fish look amazing. Like, amazing. Um, The water. When I make a macaroni and cheese, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do it. Not this time. I'm gonna keep it simple. This is what I'm making because um, y'all see my missing now. But this is what I'm gonna be making because I don't feel like making big macaroni and cheese. It'll take longer, but I will do a video one day with it. And if y'all if y'all want it, <sighs> so. We're going to wait for this to boil. Once it starts boiling, then we're going to start cooking that macaroni and cheese. Y'all know the steps I'm making macaroni and cheese, so I think I'm going to just fast forward this. But boiling noodles, and boiling water, dump the noodles, let them sit, let them cook or whatever. Add cheese, throw it up. Then, we're going to get up to the spinach, and this is the spinach I'm making, y'all. I'm going to show you how I make my spinach, how I season it, and all that. But, yeah. Okay. All right, I'm back, y'all. What? The? All right, this light is it is bugging me for real, but whatever. Anyways, I'm back. I'm about to dump this macaroni. I can't even see my face, boy. And the camera is leaning. What in the? Whatever. I'm about to dump this macaroni into the paint the bowl. The I know what this is. Hot. Not the pan. Not the bowl. Nothing else. I need to put this butter back in the refrigerator because it's definitely melting. I'm done with this sugar and this fish fry. Y'all, if you use this fish fry, do not put any seasoning on your food. This is already seasoned. Read it. Read it. Okay? Read it. Seasoned fish fry. Do not put anything else on your fish. Thank you. I'm about to check on these yams that's in the oven. Cause then I need to show you what else I'm about to do to those, and then we're gonna start cooking this spinach, and I'm gonna see how I season my spinach. Y'all, tell me these hands don't look good. Like what? What? Okay. Like y'all, come on now, come on now. Get at your girl. Get at her. All right, we are prepared. All right, so we're gonna be up like that. We're gonna let them cook a little bit longer. We're gonna get the spinach in there. Boom, this is gonna be the, the top, you know, for the house. So, we're gonna cook the whole bag of spinach. Put it down and then put the whole bag and you're gonna have like a handful. I need to go in the trash actually. Alright, so let me just show you. Put the camera down. So, Nana Spinach is in there. I'm going to get. Where's my knife? I put real chow. Anyways, I dumped water on top of here. Because you want it to steam up. You don't want to put too much. Just in my. Turn my stove on. Anyways, so I'm going to use just these three right now. Um, I don't know, but yeah. So we got garlic powder. We got lemon pepper. And minced onions. So I'm going to start with my garlic powder. Listen. Y'all know what y'all taste buds like. I'm showing you what I put in mine. Get my taste. Shake to taste. So, because I know I like mine to taste a certain way, I'm going to open the bigger end and just shake. Okay? I know I like my food to taste like. So, I shake to taste. This is my taste. Okay? 
that's my taste so next we're going to use the minced onion and again shake to seeds I know I'm going to eat a lot because this is going to be broken down and watery and not watery but kind of I don't know what spinach doesn't look like in the end. So I use enough of this. Again, shaking two teeth. Your teeth are right. Now I'm going to use the lemon pepper. And shake this on you. And let the water and stuff simmer down. Again, still shaking the taste to my taste buds. Most people like my taste buds, so if you want to count how many times I should, you can do that. Your butter should have these on there. The tablespoon, the measurements, one, two, three, yeah, so there it is. I'm going to use two tablespoons of butter on this. And then I'm going to put the lid on it and let it simmer down. So here go my two tablespoons, and then I'm going to just... Is in there like that. I don't put them all in the same spot because you know you want your food to cook all around the pan. Not all the thing be simmering the center and look, you know what I mean. Put everything inside the pan, put a lid on it, let it all melt down. Boom. Anyways, I'm back. I'm be over here with this part of the video. It probably y'all probably can't even really see, but it is what it is. We got to do what he do right here. Most people like to put what they like to put butter and all that in their macaroni and cheese. I'm going to use just the cheese. People be putting milk and stuff, but I don't feel like all that extra stuff. I'm going to be honest. It's good either way. Um, mm -mm. I do really love making baked macaroni and cheese though. So if y'all want to see a video on that, let me know. So I'm just gonna squeeze this cheese in here. Okay, this is what my macaroni look like. Let's get close up on this. I love macaroni. But yes, so I'm gonna just get out this terrible angle. Anyways, I'm back from that terrible angle over there. <laughs> um, this is what my spinach is starting to look like. See how it's cooking down? I'm not about to do no extra stuff, but I mean, this is extra because I ain't using what I'm supposed to be using. But yes, y'all see how little the spinach get? Like, this is why I wanted to cook the whole bag. <laughs> Yeah, I know you tired of fucking with them lame niggas. I just wanna teach you, put you on game with us. You let you rock my chain. I ain't trying to change women, and I love the way you smile. That's a real game. When I'm for you, I'ma change. I can't say the same, nigga. When I'm with the gang, you be trying to hang with us. Let me take these jeans out the oven, and I'ma show you what they looking like. Mmm, it's hot. Hold on, one second. Dang, I'm about to burn my face off. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me, tell me, tell me it don't look good. Then, you take your marshmallows. Mine's just big. I think I'm going to cut it down a little bit. So I'm taking the same just about this cookie with. And I'm going to just put these all over the place because these are huge. These are huge. They is big. They is big, Diddy. <laughs> Do y'all remember that show? <laughs> uh, yeah, I know you tired of fucking with them lame niggas. Anyways, we're gonna put it in there like that and leave it just like this and let it cook. And then. Dinner is done, guys. So I guess I'll see you when I show you what the final what my plate look like when I'm about to eat. I'm hot. I'm really so hot. I'm tired. It's probably midnight by now, but 
I'm gonna see how when I eat my food. Y'all, so this is the final outcome. Yams, spinach, macaroni and cheese, and fish. Um, follow me on Instagram. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And smash that notification button so that y'all can get notified every time I post a video. Like, what are y'all doing? What are you doing? Like, y'all, I'm sweating. It's hot. Let me go eat my food. I'm going to talk to y'all another day. Just came to properly say thanks for watching. Come back. Stay tuned. Next video coming. Like, comment, and subscribe. And definitely share this video. Help a girl out. Give me some love. Yeah, I know you tired of fucking with them lame niggas I just wanna teach you, put you on game When it's you and let you rock my chain I ain't tryna change women And I let them wear you smile, that's a real game When I'm